guys. <coughs> Hey guys, and sorry if my voice is kind of gross right now, I am still sick. So today I was planning on filming a Q&A, um, which I'm still planning on filming, so thank you all for sending in your questions on my Instagram. But this morning while I was laying in bed, I was scrolling through my YouTube subscriptions, as one does, um, a productive morning activity, and I inevitably started watching one of those like how to stay fit and motivated in 2018 videos, and it reminded me that since the new year is coming up, or already has passed depending on when I post this video, that social media is about to just like fucking explode with all of these like fitness messages, some of which are really motivating. If fitness is a goal for you in 2018, then good for you. But I feel like especially in the age of social media and like Instagram models, our fitness culture can get a little bit obsessive um, and kind of just make you feel bad about yourself. As someone who last year struggled with a lot of body image issues and a lot of just a bad relationship with food and fitness in general, and as someone who has seen eating disorders um, affect some people who are really close to me, I thought I would be remiss if I didn't make a video kind of addressing how to keep like a healthy mindset amidst all of this fitness culture. I don't have a title for this video yet, but hopefully it's not like super clickbaity. That's not my intent at all. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. I feel like there are a lot of things that you can say about like keeping a healthy mindset and staying confident um, that make a lot of sense when you say them out loud, but are really hard to internalize as like the person who is watching this video or like me last year. Um, so I thought I would just kind of talk about my personal journey. So throughout my entire life, and including all of high school, I think I had like a really healthy attitude towards food, thanks to my mama for that, and I had like the most badass kid metabolism ever, so I would eat just like whatever the hell I wanted, a ton of candy, and I liked my body for the way it was. I was always just like naturally a pretty skinny kid, and I never really thought about it, um, especially growing up in suburban Maryland, like there's not a huge like health and fitness craze anyway, nobody really talks about like working out or dieting and stuff like that, so yeah, it was like a really great way to grow up. But enter freshman year of college and a lot of that changed. First of all, my metabolism just like hit a fucking brick wall um, and my lady metabolism kicked in, which is much, much slower. Second of all, UCLA has bomb ass dining hall food and I definitely gained the freshman 15. And third of all, I was now living in LA surrounded by like the offspring of actresses and models who are all beautiful and super like fitness oriented. I know like the most basic body image advice is not to compare yourself to others. And I had heard that so many times but I didn't fucking listen to it. But for real, I feel like you can throw around this advice like all you want, but it's actually pretty hard to internalize. So you've been through the whole shithole and back. So yeah, um, I was a lot heavier than I had been for my entire life and I really beat myself up for it. I think in combination with the fact that I was kind of artistically unfulfilled, I didn't like my classes, I didn't have any close friends yet, I was living 3,000 miles away from home. I think just the fact that I was unhappy in general all just piled on and manifested itself even more um, into me just hating my body. And um, I started working out for the first time, which a lot of people are like, oh, good for you. Like you finally went to the gym. Um, but in my opinion, it was actually something really unhealthy because it came from a really bad mindset. Basically, I was just like punishing myself for eating too much. I would watch the calorie count um, on how many calories I had burned on the treadmill and, you know, compare that to how much I had ate. And basically between eating a lot and planning all of my meals um, and working out, like thinking about my body so much was just taking over my life um, and it wasn't making me happy. It was just like the most massive waste of time and my own energy. Um, and as a human being, I have so much more to offer to the world than just how my body looks. Ultimately, in terms of fitness, really the best thing for me was to just be happy and to keep busy. Like now doing my YouTube channel, uh, making videos for you guys every week, this keeps me really busy and entertained and happy and feeling like I'm doing something hopefully kind of useful. And in combination with just having like closer friends and really liking my classes this year and stuff, um, yeah, I don't really think about like food or fitness very often. Um, I just eat whenever I'm hungry and stuff. I know I'm super lucky to say that because of genetics, basically if I just don't think about it too much, my body will do this thing. Um, sorry this has been kind of rambly, but I hope if there's any takeaway from this, it's that your self-worth should never be determined by how your body looks. I know that sounds obvious, but social media and like fitness messages can really fuck with you. And I think there's a fine line between saying that working out and eating healthy can make you happier versus saying that you can only be happy if you eat healthy and work out. So yeah, if you are embarking on a fitness journey, um, best of luck, but 
keep your mindset healthy. If you ever start to feel like food or fitness or your body image is really taking over your life, um, I'm gonna link an eating disorder hotline or chat room or something down there. And also I know a lot of you guys are on college campuses right now. Um, a lot of those have free counseling services. So um, please don't feel afraid to go to one of those. I never did even though I definitely could have benefited from it last year. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean that you're like insane or anything, but just uh, it's a strong thing to seek out somebody to talk to. So with that, um, that is all the rambling I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of exciting new videos planned for the new year. So thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.